just a way to chicken and turkey and doves. Cape and Hill.
1.21 gigawatts. 1.21 gigawatts. 1.21 gigawatts. Tom, how could I have been so careless? 1.21 gigawatts. Oh, Tom. Oh, Thomas Edison. Einstein. Copernicus. Oh, I know I need the lab's in a terrible, awful, terrible mess. Gray's Sports Almanac. You heard him, girls. Party's over. Hey pal, hey guys, or gals, don't know which, it's okay. How's it going today? Nice and sunny out at least, right? Even though it's a terrible mess with the geoengineering and everything, you know? It's awful, it shouldn't be this temperature at this time of year. I don't know, what are we going to do? What are you going to do, they say, huh? What are you going to do? Yeah, I mean, it may, that's, that's possible. Maybe. Anything's possible, they say, if you put your mind to it. Yeah. I think the pigeon, the doves and the pigeons agree too, right? The pigeons, doves. Yeah, they prefer uh, dove. Yeah, they can't do that. They make a different sound. Right, you go ba 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 ba. That's like your sign. Your is that like an affectionate thing you do there when you do that one? The ba ba ba. I think it is. It sounds affectionate to me. And when you do that, especially, that's definitely affectionate. When you not put your chest against the fence, right? Yesterday that flap was all stick was like up above your beak when I got here. I was like making a point because it was so cold. It wasn't flapping around like that, huh? No. You don't have one of those, right, chicken? Don't take a peck at me, please. Or Diane. She doesn't want to get pecked at. Come back around on the other, see on the flip side, okay? I'm gonna make a loop. Yeah, I'll be back. I'll say hi when I, before I leave.
Someone's doing laundry, Diane. I can smell it. Flux capacitor, fluxing. Why? Dendritic branching. Brain tree. Whoa, Diane. No, I didn't mean whoa like you're a, one of those workhorses, Diane. I'm sorry. I, no, no, I did just slipped. That was just a react like whoa. I almost dropped you. I'm not going to tell them about the, what happened last year when I dropped you or how that happened. How you have that crack on your face. I'm not going to talk about that, Diane. I'm not going to be able to talk about that at all. If I never see the English evergreens I'm running to It's nothing to see I mean, it's nothing to me, it's nothing to see Get it right! What have I taken from what have I taken from you? That's right, your illusions. You get a gold star. Clarice. Fava beans and Liver. With brains. Blech. Dan, I don't even... I, I don't even eat animals. Butchered animals, slaughtered animals, so... I'm not interested in... Dining on... Sautéed human brains with Hannibal Lecter. Don't sign me up for that one. No thank ya. Please. I don't want to be on the receiving end either, eating my own brain. Oh God. Okay, let's think about it. something else. Let's stop talking. Sorry, I'll shut up. What business have I in the woods if I'm not thinking of the woods? Although, heh, yeah. Thoreau uses the term woods, Diane, but as the book, The Overstory, points out, The Overstory by Richard, not Richard Bach, he's the one who wrote Jonathan Livingston Seagull. I'm thinking of Richard, not Richard Alpert, no, that's Ram Dass or who became Ram Dass, and the character in Lost is based on. I'm not talking about that Richard. This is not Richard. Oh, anyway. No, not Richard Nixon. Bob, Jesus, Richard Nixon didn't write a beautiful environmental consciousness book about, you know, how trees aren't, shouldn't be called woods because that's calling them with the, the product that we derive from them, the dead wood that comes from the living tree. So, I mean, it's not really wood yet, is it? Until it is cut off, severed limbs, severed limbs, 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 branches, brain tree, new brain tree. Human anatomy and tree anatomy. The spine of the pines, the trunk, the spine, the roots, the feet, which are the fish, Pisces, the trunk, the spine, torso, the head, the crown, crown chakra, 
like the crown of the corona of the trees and the corona of the sun. You bet your ass I'm real, king. Corona king. And you're full of shit for promoting the Warren Commission story. I don't know how, if you're actually a decent human being or how you seem like you are, but you expose yourself as a diabolical agent of the system. You probably have to be in order to, or you do, right? Isn't that the whole fucking game? In order to be a king of anything in the system, the system, the matrix, the invisible, the prison, the invisible, the invisible, Prison for your mind, prison with no walls. You have to toe the line, don't you? Or you're in trouble. That's the thing. I think my take is that King supports the Warren Commission story because he has to if he wants to live and if he wants to maintain his celebrity star status. Superstar. He's, yeah, he's build and pitched as the most ordinary celebrity, the most ordinary star or god, because the stars, the celebrities, the icons are the are the new gods who get the Oscars, the awards and the rewards and then they put on a fucking uh, crocodile tear act a fucking obviously phony speech about, you know, how you gotta go, you gotta go through so much you're gonna deal with so much and being a Hollywood star. Yeah, like being a multi-millionaire and being financially and materially perched atop the rest of the human race, never having to experience the agony of striving, suffering, and, you know, scraping and clawing to make ends meet. Oh, that's so tough, Will. <laughs> God. Yeah, you, it's amazing that anyone believes anything coming out of Hollywood is real and and not just a big scripted freak show. Like George Carlin said, the whole world's a freak show and when you're an American, you get a front row seat. Yeah. Deal with that. Deal with the mess that shirking responsibility and propping up oligarchs has led to. Deal with it. Face the music. We live inside a dream that's rapidly turning into a dystopian nightmare. You've been warned. 1984, warning. Brave New World, warning. HAL 9000, 2001 Space Odyssey, warning. The Matrix, warning. Terminator, warning. Warning. Emergency, emerge and see why. See why everything's going to shit and why you have tech giants with so much influence who are part of the military industrial cabal network of control who are that who are the are the cabal and are the military industrial complex silicon valley internet developed in 1980 invented in 1984 same year as terminator was released and the internet by definition you can look it up yourself invented in 1984 and the name for the interconnected internet work of the U.S. Defense Department, okay? The U.S. Defense Department, with having invented this thing, having, or having this thing that everyone's lives depend on in the whole globe. Think of that, okay? (laughs) It's not uh, called the, it's not the UN's internet. It's the U.S. military's internet. Internet. Inter is inner, and it all within. Inter, inner, 
with the T cross of the crucifix right there. And to inter something is to bury it. Like we bury the dead six feet under, hence the six feet apart social distancing part of that, the grotesque masquerade ritual of the coronavirus, crown of thorns virus. It's a crucifixion ritual. Of the re Repetition and crucifixion are the same value and humiliation. John F. Kennedy assassinated all 131. 131. 11 in there with a 3. Like the 311 when the coronavirus was declared a pandemic. The coronavirus. The absurdity of that. The term coronavirus introduced in 1968 same year MLK, the king, was assassinated. Same year 2001, A Space Odyssey was released. 2001, as in 911, 2001. That would be enough, but it isn't the whole thing. I mean, that, that's a lot of coincidence, so-called, right there. But also we got that year, RFK assassinated, another K-ending name, Kennedy King, 11th letter. And I, before this, this video might stop any moment, so I should also say that mirroring the 311 of when the pandemic was declared in 2020 you have 113 which was the election day that of the the fiasco the joke of joe the joker president's election or erection the mask the darth vader dark father corporate hoe bag joe bag another hoe same as the old boss worse only a little worse just keeps getting a little worse a little more demented, a little more insane. Three, you liked me, and I will immediately abolish the, that, that office and the central government and put, it, and put all who are associated with it on trial for crimes against humanity and the entire earth, the geoengineering, which has led to billions of people getting Alzheimer's, dementia, and autism from all the aluminum we're inhaling as the fall, from part of the fallout of this oper geoengineering holocaust. Elephant in the sky was behind all of the weather whiplash, the insane weather. The number one factor which is being suppressed as uh, all of the do-gooders are throwing up their arms in the air and shouting at the global warming deniers and climate change deniers, all of those people who are doing that are denying what is going on, right? Has what they've, the card that they've already played to try to mitigate the collapse of the whole protective shield of delicate shield protecting Mother Earth, the fucking little thin layer that they, paper like looking, like looking layer that you see that all the astronauts talk about. It's been wrecked from nuclear testing and all the industry put together. Not, it's all of it put together, but top fucking influencers in the destruction of the fragile web of life here obviously are nuclear and atomic suicide geoengineering. And then you can start talking about carbon dioxide gas re release, which is, by the way, what we exhale. CO2. So if you're going to demonize a gas, you might as well, you're demonizing that gas. If you're demonizing that, you're demonizing your exhalation, which is what's keeping you alive for fuck's sake. For fuck's sake. Fuck, by the way, is not a dirty word. It's sex. There's nothing dirty about it. It's only dirty when you have perverts at the top of power who say it's shameful and debase it and promote perversions of sexuality like pedophilia. Like all the other, the range of perversions, sexual pervert, deviations, violations of natural law that you see. Pedophilia is obviously the fucking most takes the cake as far as like grotesque and perverse and horrifying and, and you know, something that should be immediately, immediate ex execution should be the penalty for that. No, I mean, obviously you get a trial, but if there's fucking heavy evidence that you've been violating children, you're, you're done. Bye-bye. You're a monster. You've exhibited monstrous behavior. You're a rapist and a criminal in the eyes of 
the light. Which is good. Or God. Got it? Good. Got truth, got light, got life, or you got milk. If you got milk, you got death. Unless, of course, <laughs> it's mother's milk. Wait, what? Almond milk or fucking, you know, some milk that's not from a, that's not jacked from a creature that's been turned into a slave for your pr protein factories. Sorry, but that's how it is. We're at that point now. I'm not gonna bite my tongue on that when that's the, the fucking central piece of this shit, this shit we're dealing with. All of it's connected. The geoengineering, the factory farming, fucking assault on, on, on all of life, the, the reckless abandonment of all decency and virtue and, and moral rightness of any kind in favor of just, you know, every man for himself and denial, burying one's heads up, head up one's ass and in the sand all day long. Oh, but how, aren't you miserable? How do you, how do you live when you, when you, when you like, how, look, listen to you, you, you sound crazy, you sound like you're so unhappy and miserable. Fuck off, please, get out of my face, I'm, I'm not unhappy. I'm neither happy nor unhappy, because either one of those is an extreme. It's about having the balance, the equilibrium between those, between misery and joy, and so you can experience both when they arise, and, and your life isn't about contriving situations and, and you know trying to manipulate things so that you'll be happy and all, everything will be good and fine and all good and fine no you have to take things as they come and as they are that's if you want to have peace and balance and equilibrium right turkey tell them please would you please just tell them all to wake the frack up? And stop the fracking nonsense. All the war and the, the misery and the, the abuse. It's the propping up of criminals. Would you please tell them to stop? Thank you. You, you agree there, little pigeons and doves? We can create a world where none of this shit's happening, where you're not like in this, where this freaking artificial boundary doesn't exist between us. No one's in cages for money. The mummy. All right, buddy, I'll see you, my friend. Take care. See you soon. I know. Parting is such sweet sorrow. Yeah, I'm just up the road. Don't worry about it, okay? Uh, turkey won't, or chicken won't, condemn and judge me for not spending too much time there today. I've sat with them for half hours at a time just sitting there recently since I befriended them about a week ago or so now. Maybe it was a week and a half ago. A lot of positive development for me personally, maskily. Last couple weeks, last month, two, three, four. Excuse me. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, I do hope that, you know, there's something uh, entertaining. People like watching this. But, uh,. I listen to people, to intelligent gods and celeb stars, celebrities like Bowie, who talks about uh, not creating for one for an audience, not you know tailoring what you do to an audience, to the, to who's uh, who the, the 
the, the, that one that, that's taking in what you do, you know, the receiving of the receiver. As the sender, you send. You respect the receiver and you understand that there is no you as a sender without a receiver. However, that doesn't mean that you seek to please the sender, the receiver. You're not a people pleaser or a mask pleaser. Because that's what a people per a person is. People plural of person. Why is that, right? You, and you have two plurals for person. You have persons with the the ubiquitous, the obligatory S. That's the letter of plural isms. Why is that? Have you ever asked that question? Have you ever asked that question, Stephen? It's Kabbalah. It's Kabbalism. It's Jewish mysticism. All over the English alphabet, Aleph Beth. L language of L. L all over it. Every single aspect of it is dripping with Kabbalah, of Allah, of the Kaaba stone, the black cube, of Islam, of Israel, of Isis, the moon, Ra, the sun, Ray, and L, Saturn, Cronus. Where is he? Where's Saturn? Where's Saturn? Where's the, where's this Saturn? Saturn, huh? They can you only see him on Saturday, Saturn's day, and Sabbath. Is that the only time you get to see? Him? Oh, I can look him up online. I can listen to his rings. You can listen to Uranus's rings too. Uranus and rings and moons, uh, or yeah, Uranus and its rings. You can listen to. I put them on my channel, you know. Yeah. I like listening to Uranus's rings and Uranus. They're beautiful, make beautiful sounds. <laughs> what? Oh, I got a shitty sense of humor. I got a wicked shitty sense of humor. I got a wicked shitty sense of humor, Lois, Diane, Dana, DNA. I've talked way too much in this fucking video, you know. I like I better when I don't say anything. I keep my fucking mouth, I keep my fucking trap shut. I know. It's all about balance. You mix it up. Mix it up. Mix. Middle. Mem. Insane in the mem. Brain.